Welcome back everybody, Steven here from Blur TCG. Today we're gonna answer a question that a lot of different Pokemon players have been wondering. Do you get better hit from opening up single booster packs or if it's the same thing as opening up sealed product? So a little more context, a lot of Pokemon players seem to be under the impression that buying these single booster packs gives you better pulls. And I've heard some really good arguments. Uh, you know, one of my friends said that, oh, they tried to make these booster packs have a higher hit rate because really new players are probably the ones that are going to buy these single packs and opening up a good card is more likely to get you excited about the game and make you want to keep buying more products. And while that makes a lot of sense, I think uh, that would be a little unfair to the people who buy a lot of product and that you would scam me from getting just as many good cards in this booster bundle, for example. So we're going to do our little science experiment here using uh, the new set, Silver Tempest. We'll open up the booster bundle, then we'll set it aside. We'll open up single booster packs and see what we get. And we will, at the end, figure out which one had better hits. All right, so I think uh, we will start with the booster bundle here. So these retail for, I believe, about $24, $25. Uh, and what's inside of it is, I believe, simply just six booster packs. Packaged very similarly to the uh, pre-release kits. And uh, yeah, just as expected here, one, two, three, four, five, six booster packs. A little box. So, all right, let's open up the first booster pack and see what we get. All right, we got a more Pico, a Durant, a Ralt, Fletching, Dratini, Clink, Fungus, fun, Fungus, and Frost Glass is our first rare. Nothing too exciting there. Second booster pack. And here we go. We got Toxicroak, Professor Laventon, Matang, Venonat, uh, whatever that guy is, Spinda, Bebas, Noibat. Reverse Foil Clado and Among Us. All right, pack number three. All right, we got Sunflora, Primordial Ultra, Dene Nene, Halucha, Rufflet, Vulpix, Amolga, Metatite, Sandy Gast, and Foil Medicham. All right, we got three booster packs left to see if we can open up something exciting. All right, here we go. We got Honchkrow, Raichu, Pet Lily, Chinchow, Burl C, Pikachu, Ponita, Ponita Reverse, Foil Ponita, and Hisuian Bravery. All right, two packs left. Nothing yet so far. Looking good for the uh, blister packs. <laughs> All right, we got Clank, Plato, Worker, Zubat, Fungus again, Sandy Gast, Reverse Foil Dra Dracloak, and Non Foil Gardevoir. All right, last pack. All right, we got a more Pico. We got Stunkfish, Togemaru, Esperu, Smeargle, Litten, Reverse Foil Raichu. <laughs> And Victini. Bruh. All right, six booster packs, no hits. Let's move over to the single booster packs and see if we are more lucky. All right, so we got three Lugia and three Regidrago. We'll start with the Regidragos. Right, here we go. Meowstic. Chinchow, Metatite. Uh, do Dupiter? Dupiter? I don't know. Ponita. Uh, Venonat. Ooh. Our first trainer gallery. We have Jinx and the rare Skuntank V. All right. Well, we already uh, have <laughs> already beaten the booster bundle. But I think one hit in like six packs is probably right. I think we got maybe a little unlucky. But uh, let's see how many more hits we can get off of this. There we go. We got Lance. Clank, Pro, Crocorock, Vulpix, Simoga, Bunnyary, Drowsy, Reverse Foil Dratini, and the rare is a non foil Gardevoir. All right, let's do the last Reggie Drago. All right, we got Serena, Sigilif, Gym Trainer, Pet Lily. Pikachu, Growlithe, Clink, 
reverse foil, Anerith, and the rare is Neuvern. All right, now we're moving to our Lugia packs. Here we go. We got Lantern, Alteria, Brandon, Fungus, Fungus again, Bandigast, Halucha, uh, Relicanth, Sandy Gas and the Suin Liliant non foil. Two packs left. This pack feels a little thick. You know how I feel about these thick packs. Quadstone. Regenerative 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 energy. What are you, stupid? Litten. Pet Lily. Chin Chow. Barrel Seed. Pikachu, Reverse Foil Sunflora, and... Wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. <laughs> oh, wow. Lugia V-Star Foil. <laughs> oh, my God. What's this bad boy selling for right now? Like, 100? Jeez. Absolutely bonkers that we opened this. Ooh. Oh, my God. Let's go ahead and sleeve that to make sure we don't damage it. Wow, look at that. Crazy, crazy open. All right. We got one more pack left. I don't think we are going to be topping that Lugia V-Star pull, but uh, let's see. All right, here we go. We got Curlia, Venonat, Wallace, Spinarak, Beldum, Krogan. Come on, Genesec, chill out. It's Genesec! Solstice, Zubat, Dracloak again, and Incineroar. Wow. All right, we got two Vs. Trainer Gallery. All right, so let's, uh, let's reassess here all the stuff that we got. All right, so now while I think that we might have gotten a bit unlucky with the booster bundle, I think from just this example alone, I think we could probably assume that, you know, you do get better hits off of single loose packs. We did get two Vs, including a gold V star. We hit a trainer gallery, all the rest were regular rares. But in the booster bundle, we literally got, I mean, one of them was a hollow rare, but five regulars. Again, you know, this is just a little fun video. Really, at the end of the day, it's all kind of random. So I think that just this little example alone is not the ultimate truth. But for the sake of this experiment, it seems like clear winner was the loose booster packs. And yeah, really excited to get this uh, Lugia Gold V-Star. So yeah, let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Have you had similar experiences where you find that Steel product usually has less hits than buying individual booster packs like the ones that I showed. Or do you think it's completely random and uh, people are just, you know, talking because people are basically superstitious when it comes to opening packs. Either way, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like our content, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. We are a new channel. We are trying to make really, really cool videos. And by you hitting the subscribe button, commenting or liking, you are doing us a huge favor in helping us grow the channel. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.